welcome dear friends we've been talking about the essentials that we need in our lives to keep moving forward with god and today i want to talk about faithfulness when we are faithful we can accomplish mighty things for god i'd like to read a scripture for us this is from luke chapter 16 and verse 10 it says He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much and he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much This scripture is taken from the parable of the talents and in that parable we see that the master gives different talents to his servants some more and some less but when he returns his expectation is for the servants to have used those talents faithfully and as we apply this to our own lives we recognize that god has blessed us with grace with gifts with abilities which are differing from one another and god's expectation from us is also that we would invest each one of these gifts and that these gifts would extend the kingdom of god that they would glorify god so god is expecting faithfulness from our part now our god is a god who expects what he himself is so when we read about the nature of god the scriptures tell us that our god is a faithful god we are told that we must feed on his faithfulness that he who called us he is faithful and that the lord our god is faithful he will establish us and he will guard us from the evil one so our god is a faithful god and he expects faithfulness on our part when we are faithful in what god has called us to do we are rewarded with increased opportunities the reward for faithfulness is increased opportunities because god knows that he can trust us with whatever he gives us so let's not worry about what is in our hands if it is too small or if it is too big let us invest what god has given us which means put it to good use improve uh, in whatever god has entrusted us hone the skills sharpen them and bless people with what god has given to us in this manner we will be able to bless god and bless his kingdom and if you are struggling today and saying that I am not a faithful person. You know, when we talk about Moses, Moses is called as somebody who's faithful in God's house. On the other hand, the children of Israel, they were a faithless generation. They did not stick to the promises of God and their hearts were wavering from time to time. And today if you're thinking God, you know, I am not like one of those faithful people. How can I become a faithful person in this year ahead? how can i be faithful to you you know scriptures also tell us that faithfulness is a fruit of the holy spirit let us allow the holy spirit to work in us let us yield to god let us cry out to him for faithfulness and surely the lord will strengthen us to be his faithful people shall we pray together heavenly father we thank you that god you are faithful the god who has called us is faithful and father we want to be faithful oh god to all that you have entrusted us with father we want to be faithful stewards i pray that lord you will strengthen each one of us the holy spirit will work in us oh god to birth this fruit of faithfulness in us faithfulness in us We thank you God. We thank you for doing it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.